Welcome to the Lexington Kentucky Real Estate Show. I'm your host and local Lexington Realtor, Morgan Franklin. And today we're not talking about real estate at all. We're talking about Keeneland Fashion with my good friend Eric Goff and EF Meeks Tie Company. As I mentioned before, I am here with Eric Goff uh, of EF Meeks Men's Clothing Company, and we are going to talk about how not to look like a jackass at uh, Keeneland, although you might think that the two of us <laughs> look like jackasses right now. Um, so Eric, if you, if you, just, if you didn't want to go out and buy this awesome blazer, you know, kind of what would you wear to Keeneland that you think would look really, really nice? Well, yeah. I mean, anytime you go to Keeneland, I think you want to dress up and be seen. Yep. Uh, you know, either you're going to go out and buy something, or you may have, you know, blue blazer in your in your closet. No. Uh, so, what kind of pants uh, would you put with a blue blazer? Uh, I mean, you could go with your regular khaki slacks. Yeah. Uh, and also, you know, navy slacks, but nothing, nothing Ooh. crazy. Uh, well, what about pink? Pink. Well, I, you know, I'd leave that to the tie and the bow tie. Okay. So something, so we do some kind of conservative, like a khaki or a gray slack, a blue blazer, which a lot of guys are already going to have in their closet. And so this way they don't have to go out and spend a thousand bucks on a new suit, but they could come over to EF Meeks and they could jazz it up. And so let's just talk about that super basic kind of, like a blue blazer, like what yeah. I'm wearing. Uh, what would you put with it? Well, obviously you want to, you probably want to keep with the white shirt. Um, and then you're, you know, either you do a bow tie or a tie. And a, a pocket square really is a big thing that yeah. most people don't use, um, and it can really dress up an outfit. No. Uh, I like to coordinate. I never want to match, so uh, <laughs> that'd be my big uh, suggestion. Okay, so that's kind of like the basic. So if somebody wanted to take their basic wardrobe and jazz it up with uh, EF Meeks collection, how much are we going to spend on, say, like what am I, I'm wearing uh, this really fancy pocket square and bow tie, like what would I expect to pay uh, at a retailer? Uh, you're out about 80 bucks right now, which is, is pretty reasonable compared huh. to what... You're going to spend more than that on drinks and <laughs> yeah. uh, gambling. Yeah. You know, at least look good so that way uh, all the young ladies running around at least take a, uh, a look at you. So now let's take it to the next level. What, how can, I mean, this is just, this is amazing. <laughs> so if we want to step it up, like, let's talk about seersucker. So if I wanted to, you know, we got derby coming up, you know, summer, we got wedding season coming up, you know, what are we gonna do? Let's talk about what would you pair with seersucker? Because you've already got all those lines yeah. and a lot of business going on. What are you talking about? I'd say the big thing is you're wanting to balance. Okay. Um, you know, if you're wearing something that bold, uh, you know, in your, in your suit, you yep. want to tame it down with your shirt. Just go with a white or at least a base light color, um, and then don't go too wild with your accessories. But you know you can add a little bit of color. I, mean, I think what you've got on right now would actually go well. You know, yeah. with like a light blue seersucker. Yeah, you can still have some you know some uniqueness to it, but you don't want to go over, overboard with yeah. everything you're wearing. So now you guys can't see the rest of what Eric's wearing, but he's got some lovely uh, plaid pants on. So you are to the max. So let's talk about kind of like the rules. Like, would you ever put a plaid blazer with plaid pants? Like kind of talk me through how you keep this all together and not make it look like a circus exhibit. <laughs> Uh, well, usually, you know, if I'm doing plaid pants, I'm gonna, it's either going to be a suit that matches the pants. So a solid? Yeah. Or, or I mean, a full suit. Yeah, so or it's going to be something that, you know, the coat is solid. I wouldn't, I wouldn't change it up yeah. that much that you're going to do multiple, um, you know, multiple styles all together. <laughs> <laughs> so talk me through an opportunity, because I've got a bunch of wild ass shirts. Um, you know, because most of the time, like in my day to day, I very rarely wear a sport coat to work, but I do wear a button down very frequently and I've got a ton of blues and reds and checkers and plaids. And so, you know, I've already got a lot going on with this jacket and the tie and everything. So if I wanted to wear one of those, you know, checkered plaid, a more busy shirt, how would I do that? Uh, I mean, obviously you're going to stick with just probably a navy blue blazer, mm -hmm. um, and then your your accessories would be solids. Okay. You don't want them competing with the shirts. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. So let's talk about some other style cues. So my number one thing, um, if you go out and you buy a new sport coat, what do you have to do? 
make sure you cut the ties in the back, the, the shipping ties. Yes. So on a new suit, so every time, and it never fails, every time you go to Keeneland, you see that guy who just went and bought that jacket specifically for that day, and the there's going to be a little X of strings around all the vents, whether it's a panel vent or a single vent. Take a pair of scissors, cut it, because it's the biggest amateur move in the world, and look around, you're going to see somebody doing it. Um, or your dry cleaning tags. Uh, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, or your or your whiskey stain. Yeah, yeah. Depends on how yeah, things go. Yeah. Um, what about shoes? That's another thing we didn't talk about. I, I'm kind of lucky. I've, I've found my good pair of cowboy boots, and you know. Yeah, we're, I'm, sure I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna sh I'm gonna cut to a picture of these real quick, and we'll come back. I'll get to it in a minute. Um, so I don't have to you know make that many decisions with mine but uh, i make sure they go with anything i wear but obviously with your with your shoes i am personally more of like a brown than a black yep. especially at keeneland in the spring and uh you know if you can make sure your belt and your shoes match yes 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 always make sure those match and so you know brown's pretty much going to go with anything that you're going to be wearing is there any situation where you would wear a black shoe like maybe a, a blue seersucker um, I'd probably still go with a brown, but you know, the the more sleek you go, we're very formal, then yeah, you're looking to get into more okay. of a black shoe. So probably like a, a brown cat toe is something that everybody's mm -hmm. gonna have in their closet and they don't have to go spend two or three hundred bucks on a new pair of shoes. Um, you know, but there's also, you know, a nice driving loafer. Yeah. You know, like a suede driving loafer is also an awesome uh, opportunity to kind of dress things up. So, I think that's everything about Keeneland fashion other than go out there and have a look. You're gonna see everything, anything, and there really aren't any rules. No, no. So Eric, I know you've been doing this for several years now. Um, I am a proud owner of several of these ties, so why in the world did you decide to start a tie company? Uh, well, for instance, like this suede coat uh, is one of my grandfather's. And uh, when he passed away in college, I started wearing all the coats to kind of keep his spirit alive. Um, You're lucky that you guys were the same size, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, fast forward, and you know, I was wearing all this stuff, and I wanted a way, you know, to give it to other people to wear, you know, something unique, something colorful. And I figured the perfect way to do that was, you know, an accessory for someone that can't wear or won't wear this bride of a coat. Yeah. Um, you know, it's something that they can put it put on to make. Their outfit unique, um, tell their own story type of thing. So let me, t I'm just gonna go out on a limb here and say that grandpa had a bit of a flair for style. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> and so I assume, and his name was E.F. Meeks, right? Correct, correct. And hence the name of the business. Yep, and so, you know, with each piece I sell, you know, I keep his spirit alive, his name alive, and uh, that's kind of the whole purpose of the company, so. So Eric, if somebody wanted to buy one of these lovely ties to jazz up their otherwise boring wardrobe here in Central Kentucky, like in Lexington, where can I buy these ties? Uh, the Keeneland Shop, Logan's, uh, Crittenden's, both in Lexington and Midway. Where's the Lexington location? Uh, it's in the New Summit. Ah, okay, because for some reason I thought he was only there by the train tracks in Midway. And so, uh, in addition, you guys can go to uh, his website, which I'm going to link down below. You can check out some great shots on his Instagram, which is? Meeks fashion is Instagram and website efmeeks.com. Okay. I'm going to link all that down below and then also um, if you've got a wedding coming up and you really want to get some special ties um, or recently he was telling me that he just did a special order with um, a, a horse owner's silks on the tie. So how do we go about getting special orders? Uh, just reach out direct, directly to me uh, through the website or on Instagram. Yeah. Uh, Which again, be in the description. Uh, give Eric a shot. And so now we're going to show you some great shots. And if you guys have any questions, give the man a call. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next episode.